Hey guys, welcome to the week seven recap. We're gonna go over the good, the bad, and the ugly like we normally do. Uh, I'm gonna start with a coronavirus update. I know everybody's talking about it, but it is. I am in New Orleans, so it is uh, affecting this community a great deal. Uh, just got word, so we're gonna start with the ugly. Just got word that my May 2nd race has been canceled and all races are canceled um, through May for the foreseeable future. So there were, there were a few on the docket in May and unfortunately all those are, are off. Um, you know, I'm glad they made the call. The virus is spreading pretty rapidly here. So anything that they can do, I think, to try to contain it so that the, the people who are the most vulnerable don't get sick, I, I think is, is something good. So um, I'm a little disappointed that the, the races for, for May are canceled, but hopefully we'll have this under the control. And, you know, they don't put a whole lot of races on the docket in July and August here uh, down south because it's so hot, but maybe they'll, uh, they'll put something on the books for that. Um, so the the bad is that I didn't get all the training in that I wanted to this week because the the uh, gyms are closed, but they're going to be closed to, <laughs> through May as well. So we're going to have to check and adjust that plan. Um, so that means that I probably won't see the pool for quite some time. Um, so we're again, I'm going to try to put in some dry land training and, and see what we can accomplish with that. It's not going to be like swimming in a pool, but it's better than nothing. Um, the good is, is that I did have a good recovery week. I felt pretty crummy going into uh, week seven and coming out of it. I feel really good actually, um, other than my asthma. Um, I'm still having some problems with that, with just the, again, the pollen in the air. No, I do not have coronavirus. I've been dealing with this for, for weeks on end. Uh, it is the pollen. Um, but that seems to be getting under control some, but I'm not gonna push it. Like I said, it doesn't affect me really on the bike. It only really affects me on the run. Um, so I have been, you know, really, really downplaying those runs. We're just walking a whole lot. Um, I've upped how long I'm walking from, you know, I'm trying to get in up to up to four miles at a time because I, I'm not really seeing the, uh, the load on my body that I wanna see considering my, my lung capacity. So, um, so that's what we've been doing. I'm gonna continue walking, gonna continue uh, riding the bike. I'm gonna try to run when I can, but like I said, I, I, I need to keep the asthma in check. So i um, gonna do some tweaking to the plan. I'm not gonna stop training. Uh, because you know the season isn't all over with the the big race was October 31st So we're just gonna keep keep planning like that October 31st race is gonna happen and uh, Hopefully some other races will pop up once we once we get this epidemic under control. So um, I hope everybody's staying healthy. I hope everybody's following protocols, you know Stay out of stay out of crowds stay out of your group rides You know, I, I know this is hard for everybody, but we all need to do our part and and make sure that you know we create a, a safe community uh, for everybody not just you know the healthy people like us so um, like I said moving forward gonna continue to train gonna continue to keep spirits high even though the gyms are closed the restaurants are closed everything's closed but you know we can still train at home and so that's what we're gonna keep doing I'll do another video on like I said before I said yesterday I think I'm gonna do another video on what I'm doing to do dry land training and I'll do a video on how I'm gonna adjust my uh, my training plan moving forward but everybody stay safe everybody stay healthy abide by the rules that they're putting uh in place you know adhere to those restrictions and uh hopefully we'll be able to race later in the season